people, 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 people. Que pasa, sac pase, what they do. Now, people, we know that when the raining, Miss World comes to Jamaica. We are speaking about Tony and Singh. We are speaking about Miss World 2019. When she comes to Jamaica, she is going to get a royal treatment. We are talking about a convoy of police, especially when she stepped in her own. We are talking about in her own neighborhood. We are talking about in a bar. We are talking about in a St. Thomas. So, people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. <laughs> This world, this world, Santa Masada, but up top. Now people, when we talk about Tony and Singh, we are talk about brains, we are talk about bass, we are talk about character, we are talk about full woman. And people, you know that she represented Jamaica well, and she is a person from a humble beginning. So therefore, when she step in a town, we are talk about in a bath, we are talk about in a St. Thomas, she is always going to have the place in her frenzy and deservedly. So, so people, that is the kind of reception that you get when you be a scholar jamaica proud and based on what the entertainment minister we are speaking about bob the greens and some other ministers from all over jamaica are saying they are saying that they want to rename some road after this lady we are talking about in our honor and people the truth and the fact that she deserves everything that she gets she deserves a queen's welcome she deserves royal welcome point blank and period because she is doing the damn thing and nobody has ever done it better point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up people 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 what's going on i hope everything is okay i hope everybody is having a very merry christmas and thing now this part of the video is to address a little issue about a video that i put up this morning on my YouTube channel, on this channel. Now, in that video, I said that if you live in America and you have family in Jamaica, specifically your mother and your father that is out here suffering and you are not doing anything to basically change that situation, if you can, then you are a piece of ISH. Um, people, remember when I speak, I am speaking in general terms. That means I am speaking if you are able, if you can, if you are financially able, if you are in a situation and you can help them, that means so you are supposed to help them. That is automatic. Now I realize that whenever I put up a video, there is always some people in my comment section and people I don't know if these are some bloggers or some bloggers send them or whatever the situation is. But it seems like them take a lot of my videos personal. Now people, if me make a statement and I say that if you live in America or you live overseas and your mother and your father is out here living like dog and you do nothing to basically help that situation, something is wrong with you. You are a piece of F-I-L-T-H. Now I want to ask any reasonable general person that is out there if there is something actually wrong with that statement. Isn't it your responsibility and people, the truth and the fact is that you are not responsible for your parents. Your parents are responsible for you. However, it seems just natural. It seems like something that you would want to do as a child that is doing better in a better country. 
Now, people, I think that it is a reasonable responsibility if you live in a first world country and you're financially able, if you have all of the things in place to so basically file for your people and bring them up and make sure so they have a better life. But the truth and the fact is that a lot of persons, they don't like to be inconvenienced. A lot of people are living very comfortable, but them don't want to basically change anything. So in other words, they don't want to be responsible for your mother or your father. So therefore, you left them out there. And people, remember, I am a person that travel all over the place. So I see it all the time. I see people come to Jamaica on a regular basis and them don't even go back home. So my point is that whenever the family comes to the hotel, me I talk about these five star, me I talk about these expensive hotel, the mother and the father look like helper and gardener and farmer and the people them from foreign look different people, you know, supposed to come at Jamaica to look for your family and make them look like riffraff, point blank and period. And people, this is not a diss to anybody. I am just saying that is what I would do. That is what my expectations are. If you look like foreigner, your family them for look like foreigner too. Point blank and period. And if anybody see anything wrong with that, that means there's something wrong with you. That means that you are selfish. But the truth and the fact is that sometimes some of us go to foreign and we basically pick up a man or pick up a woman. May I talk about for the woman then, then pick up a man and may I talk about for the man then, then pick up a woman. And that woman or that man does not want you to have any kind of communication with your family because you are in an A-B-U-S-I-V-E relationship. That means so you don't have no talk. So therefore you have to basically act like you're a helper. That means you have to basically keep your mouth because you have no say so in the relationship. Because if you stand up or you stood up as a man, you're supposed to can say to your partner, listen, mama they are yard or papa they are yard and they are not doing so good. So therefore we need to help them, point blank and period. There should not be any argument in that. And if you're in a relationship and you can't have no talk, that means that you're in a relationship that is not working too well. So people, the moral of the story is this. When I speak, I can only speak in general terms. I cannot address every single situation or scenario that is possible. So when I speak, don't get offended because if I say that you are supposed to look out for your mother and father, if you are able, if you are in a situation and can help them, don't get offended. Don't basically take up an argument and talk about they get offended. Ray, tay, lay, lay, blue, blah, bling. Because people, the truth and the fact is that if the cab fit, then you wear it. Whenever you fling stone in a hog pen, whoever it hit at them always a squeal out, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a little 16 year old shooter was basically C-H-A-R-G-E-D for the slap away of three people. We are talking about three family members one time. And this incident occurred at the Osborne store we are talking about in a Clarendon and we are speaking about on November 12, 2019. And based on what the Popo report is saying, this tour was basically invaded by a set of men armed with all sort of rifle. We are talking about Talop, we are talking about some 9 to the MM, Rete and Lele. And basically, them slap away three family members in a them store. I am speaking about Clifton Scott Sr. I am speaking about Clifton Scott Jr. And I am also talking about Orville Scott. So people, everybody have the Scott name. So more than likely we can only come to a logical conclusion that they are all family members. Now people, when we think about the fact that a 16 year old was also involved in an incident like this, it only shows that the moral fiber of Jamaica has really plummeted to be a scully down in the basement where I talk about in the depths of hell, point blank and period. So based on the Popo report, like I said before, these men went in the shop and then basically stick out the people them. And then when they were leaving, them basically blaze up everybody in the shop. That means that they took out everybody. They did not want any eyewitness. Now people, how cold and callous is that? Like me said, these people have no regards for life. Like me said, these people seems as if their heart is cold. If them even have one. And we can see that they have no conscience because we see how them basically take out the whole family member 
So based on the Popo report, like I said, this incident occurred on the 19th of November. And people, by the 10th of December, he was already arrested and charged. So people like them say, long run, short catch. And like they always say, the long arm of the law always catches up to you. And whatever evil that you do, it always comes back to haunt you, point blank and period. And also, based on what the court documents is saying, he also went to court on December 19th and he was remanded back into custody at the Clarendon Parish Court. And he is scheduled to return to court on the 5th of January 2020. So people, we see that he is spending Christmas of 2019 in a big slammer. And more than likely, he'll be there or he should be there for the next couple of decades, at least three or four decades. And the police is also asking the residents of the neighborhood if anybody have any sorts of information, they need to report to the Popo at police 119 or 311 or 113. So basically the police is making you know that they are also looking for the other suspects in this incident. So people when we think about the fact that this youth is 16 year old, we have to ask the question which part the mama de, which part the papa de, because the truth and the fact is that if you as a parent may talk about mother, father, granny, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling, allow the street to basically take over your picnic, you have failed as a parent because it is your responsibility point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up